Alrighty, so a lot of people have been asking me for advice on how to play mines. I'm going to be looking at it from the south spawn for this video, uh, considering it's the hardest spawn, like normally north winds, they just have better positions, they can take the hill easier, etc, etc. Um, what I have found from the south spawn in, on mines is that you have to kind of take a systematic approach to the map. So what I'll do on this map is I'll take one of two strong positions right off the bat, uh, and then generally speaking, I'll either push forwards or fall back. I'm going to cover both or all three of those scenarios, basically, uh, and I'm going to show you how I like to respond to the various situations that you'll find on this map. So first things first, what happens on mine is, let's pretend you're in a medium tank because that's what I play mostly. What I like to do on, on this map in a medium is I like to rush up to F4. Now... <laughs> The problems associated with F4 are the one line, but what I have found is that if you take, I'll show you the one line problem in a sec. What I do on this map is I'll take this position really quickly. It helps if you're on an auto loader or something, and I will play this rock right here and just kind of poke out and shoot anyone who drives up the hill because um, generally speaking, if you take a glance at the enemy team's lineup before you play this rock, you'll have an idea of who's going to take the hill. You just look at their mediums and lights and say, okay, those guys are going to go hill. So what I'll do is I'll sit here, I'll put shots into them, uh, and then once I've done that, like once I have nothing to shoot at, so let's pretend I'm I'm in an auto loader. So I clip something out as he's... I clip the rock out as I push up, as they're pushing up the hill or whatever. You aim for tracks so you can get kills, etc., etc. Once that's done, um, you fall back and you analyze the situation. This is what you do on the opening when you play this rock. So when you're playing this rock, you have to consider two sides of the map. One, obviously the hill, because the hill people will know you're there and they'll want to kill you because they'll be poking on this rock or whatever from the north spawn. Um, and they'll be trying to shoot you. The next thing you have to consider is the one line, which is directly behind you. So a lot of the time on this map, what will happen is people... You, Sometimes your team will completely abandon the one line. So people can push up to this bush right here and they have super easy shots on you because there's no physical cover. So uh, to stay on this rock has to be mitigated by what you see on the one line. And then uh, like, like that's first and foremost because you don't want to get flanked. And you also have to see who's on the hill and what the likelihood of you um, being punished for keeping this position. So let's pretend you want to, if you want to stay on this rock, you just brawl people. It's really easy. You just shoot at them when they're not looking at you. You can also poke on this side right here. This is how you abuse this rock is you poke on heavies who, uh, what will happen is heavy sides will be right here because they'll be either hugging this rock or playing the ramp back there and they'll be looking right here. So it's very easy to get opportunistic shots on people as you play right here. Um, but if you decide not to do that, what you're basically doing is you're giving up the mid of the map and conceding the game. So uh, you have to take it into careful consideration before you do that because the mid is very strong on this map. It's very common for the mid to win pub games at least. So what you do is if you're saying, okay, this game probably isn't going to work out well, you're going to run away from this rock. And the reason you're doing this is because you don't want to die in the middle uselessly. You want to sort of give your team some fighting chance to win. You don't want to just die on the rock like an idiot and cry about your noob team who didn't go hill. So what I do is I run straight back from the rock. I accept that I'm going to get shot once or twice. So what will happen is there might be a heavy on this corner who will shoot you. And that's just a reality. There might be a heavy right here and there might be a medium right here. So it's possible for you to get shot like two or three times right here, but I'll just run away and I won't cut across until about here because you'd also don't want to give shots to TDs. So maybe you take a hit to leave this position, but um, it's been very strong because you get early damage uh, and that's, that's kind of useful. So assuming you've run away from that position, where do you run away to? Well, basically the situation that I've set up that, uh, that you should run away from is the enemy has won the hill and they've won the one line. Generally what will happen, the reason this happens is because your team is full of TDs. So what the team looks like when you decide to concede the mid is that there's going to be a lot of teammates camping right under here because that's where they fall back to like i don't know if you give them the mid the end the heavies will fall back to under here and then generally speaking the north also kind of does well in the nine lines so a lot of these heavies will start to die and they'll start falling back too so you'll have a huge amount of your team right here um <laughs> and this is a bad spot. And then you might also have enemies pushing the one line. I would say that the one line gets pushed less often. So it's not something you need to pay attention to all that much because it's there's generally like one tank that pushes the one line. But uh, if you're in the middle of the map, that can be problematic. But you've left the middle of the map. So it doesn't really matter unless he actually starts shooting at you, which he won't because there's cover from K1 right here. So um, 
basically what happens here is your team is camping. Now the way I like to abuse the enemy team when my team is camping is I like to play this bush right here. Um, <laughs> when I meant, I remember I mentored a guy and I told him to use this position. He had a 5k damage win, a 5k damage game in his 62a or something, and he's like a 1k 1.8 player. It was like his highest damage ever. Um, this position is very strong because what you do is you sit here and you use the solid bush to like help you and then as the enemies push down this corridor right here because they do that um what you do is you wait for them to commit so you wait for enemy heavies like who are going to be in this area right here to push up to about here to fight your teammates who are here um and then you start shooting at them in the side because what will happen is there's no cover like once they get to right here there's nothing they can do so you let them commit before you start to farm them and that's a really solid way of getting damage and you can occasionally turn games around so that's more or less how i like to defend on mines it's like once you've lost the game this position is really really strong you get a lot of damage and then you die <laughs> that's just how I mean, rather die late getting a lot of damage than dying early and crying about how retarded your team is in chat. So let's pretend that you've won the mid, like let's create the situation where you just started off, you're rushing to the rock, and then you want to stay there. I'm going to talk about how to play that rock, and then how to successfully push the mid in the event that you're able to actually do that. All right, so let's assume that your team has just won the hill, as in you've just had tanks who are driving into position. What will typically happen is enemy tanks will kind of get stuck on this rock here. So what I like to do is I will immediately switch to poke on this side of the rock. Heavy tanks will be driving into position right off the bat, and you can just farm people for days that are right here, especially if you've got an auto loader. You may also want to check this side of this rock right here because people will poke from that. But for the most part, you just shoot at people because the mediums and lights on the enemy team who try to rush hill might have gotten scared and they'll generally hide on this rock here because they'll kind of be clueless. Now, again, you need to take the one line into consideration, but assuming you have a tank on the one line to spot that for you, what I will do is I will slowly work up like so. The way I do this is I just kind of drive like this. Uh, and generally by this point in time, heavy tanks obviously will not be on this rock here because this is a bit, you know, like if there's a tank on this rock, they'll just shoot me in the engine or whatever. Generally enemies have fallen back slightly. So this ramp is going to have to be clear for you to make this play. Uh, they're going to be behind this mound right here and I'll push into them like into the enemies like this. Now what this does, especially if you're in a Russian medium, you can just kind of tilt your tank like so. You'll be hauled down to the enemy uh, and you'll also be safe to TDs. So on this map TDs are a huge problem because what happens is assholes in their tier top tier TDs or whatever will just sit here all game. So you have to figure out how to be safe from that and by pushing right here uh, you really are safe from those guys. So I'll play this rock and I'll shoot at people for the most part and I'll be gauging my aggression on how the game is progressing. So if the game is a raffle stomp in our flavor, I'll be super aggressive. But if our team is kind of doing badly, obviously you need to be saving your hit points. You need to be a bit more cautious when brawling heavies in meds. But this position will allow you to do that. And if you need to run away, it's like you just reverse and very quickly you'll start getting hauled down, especially if you're in a Russian medium because the way this land is sloped. There's a bit of a ball right here that's really, really solid. So that's how I'll play, and I'll continue this aggression uh, up until I stop, I guess, obviously, but I'll continue this aggression pretty much up to these bushes. So the next step from here is to sort of make a jump across. You might take a hit doing this, but this bull right here is really strong. You can play hull down. Again, the one line has to be clear because obviously it's like you're super open to anyone on the one line. So you need to confirm that that's clear. So what you do when you're in this bull is uh, you're hull down. So you just shoot at people who aren't looking at you or you use your turret armor to your advantage on this map and you can just kind of continue this persistency. Um, as you push through and then let's pretend you've cleared out all the heavies on this side your team has kind of won the north uh, and your team has also won the tracks well i want to talk about like obviously if your team is in that situation where you've won all three sides you're going to win the game i want to talk about a close game situ situation because by the time you're here either you've won the game outright or the game is really really close and they just have camping morons at a4 so I'm going to bring you into a new context of the game where uh, it's late game and you're trying to carry and they have one TD. What I'll do is I will use this bush and I'll clear out all the angles that I just talked about. So you have to clear out, you know, you make the same 
same plays, you just be a, a bit more cautious. You can also be a bit quicker because there's probably not going to be many people here if there's only like three tanks on the enemy team left. You come up to these bushes right here to try to spot people. Now, the reason you do this is because it's nearly impossible to let's pretend you're a one shot because that's generally what people are at the end of the game and we're going to assume the enemy team is full hp uh has has a full hp td you play these bushes here you can drive up to them without a problem and assuming that the td doesn't have binox it's really easy to play safely so you just do it cautiously use your sixth sense you know poke this corner see if you get lit or whatever and then drive up to these bushes um and you try to work with your team despite that being difficult what i mean by work with your team is you sit here and you scout for them um what you want to happen is if you've got a teammate who's a bit of an idiot he's driving up the three line if he gets shot you need to verify that the td gets lit you need to make sure that happens so this bush will do that you just play this bush cautiously because td players will camp forever so you just wait until an opportunity arises, you figure out exactly where the TD is, and maybe you can spot him for Artie or something to that effect. Um, this is a really solid bush to play end game, in my opinion. You just have to be relatively careful from it, uh, with it, in my opinion. So uh, that's that's pretty much pushing or playing. This is like this is where I love to play from on this map. The middle gives you a lot of opportunities. Obviously, like you can shoot the whole nine line more or less from here like if your team is winning the nine line and the enemy's backing off you can just flank them this is a really easy thing to do you just have to make sure you do the processes first because otherwise you'll just die so this is the structure that i like to apply when playing the south spawn uh, next video is going to be from the north